I bought a brand new special edition Xbox 360 as well as 10 untested Xbox 360s, Xbox Ones, and PS3s. And in this video, we're gonna unbox and test everything and see what we find. Guys, welcome to The Hampton Hall. All right, I got this bad boy out of the packaging and it is a special edition MW3 console from Let's see, 2011, as it says right here. Don't sell before November 6, 2011. It's always hard for me to do this here, but let's, oh, let's get her done. And, mm, and, oh yeah, and we got a nice little loose piece. Cool, so we got our pam pamphlets on top. Don't miss out, we got the, oh man, the Xbox magazine. Let's take this console out, take a look at that. Below the console, we got our game, which is factory sealed, of course. We've got a game add-on download. What is, oh, we got a bunch of codes down, down there for, Male avatar gray T code. Also got our power supply, of course. We've got two controllers. Ooh, I think these are the nice controllers too. Hold on, let's, let's take one out and look at it. Oh yeah, it is. It's the, it's the nice fancy new controller that you can twist it like this. Why are these so dusty from being inside of this box? Let's take a look at the console now. The big, the star of the show here. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's, that is slick. I actually love how it's got this, this rough look to it so that if you, end up, what is this, what? Are pieces just falling off of this console? What is that? <laughs> what the heck? Uh, anyways, back to what I was saying. I love the rough look of this. It kind of blends in in case you damage your 360, you drop it, whatever. It kind of looks like it was meant to be that way. You got your Call of Duty MW3 graphic here in the bottom corner. You, you know, very roughed up here in the back. Here in the front, MW3 again. You got the classic sticker that people try to leave on their console for whatever reason. Then here in the top, got the same roughed up look. MW3 logo. Let's flip to the back and see when it was manufactured. 2011, it should be a Corona motherboard, I believe. <laughs> Why is the sticker so crooked? It doesn't matter, but strange, whatever. Let's, uh, let's plug this bad boy in and see what it does. All right, console plugged in, and to get the authentic experience, I'm gonna use the original batteries as well, assuming they have some juice left. Oh, oh no. Oh my God. That, <laughs> dude, that. That freaked me out. I have never seen a battery so corroded. Oh my goodness. That was a stupid idea. Well, now that that's over with, I got a battery that's not gonna kill me. I honestly wonder where this console was stored because it, it must've been in stored in an environment where that battery got destroyed. Cause I've seen batteries that old that were like slightly corroded, but I've, I, I don't know. I've just never seen one fall apart straight, straight up like that. But let's go ahead and turn it on. Actually, let me get my phone out so we can get this. Here, this boot animation. Three, two, one. Okay. Ooh, oh, that's nice. Ooh, yeah, what, what dashboard are we on here? Hold on. No, it's definitely not NXE. It's definitely Metro, which is the unfortunate part, but what? Maybe that's why this controller is so, like, just has dusty stuff all over it. Maybe the corrosion from the battery pack got all up in the controller a little bit. Hold on, hold on. This controller also just looks a little not great. That must be it. I got the other battery pack out and yeah, you can, I'm, I doubt you see it on camera, but you can see the battery's also falling apart there. And I guess I should wipe down the controller. Man, never thought I'd have to clean up a brand new console. <laughs> All right, well now that that's hopefully over with, let's see what this Xbox has in store for us. Sweet, we got this thing set up. We got a balloon, it's our birthday. Let's go ahead and see what this, I don't want Xbox Live, just go to the dashboard, dude. Here we are. Oh, dude, yes. I could have sworn this was on Metro, but this is, no, this is like the, an NXE hybrid, I think. It's not, it's not true NXE, but it's NXE Connect dashboard, something along those lines, I think. But dude, oh, baby, let's go. Oh, yes. I love this. I love seeing NXE. But you're clicking on this. Yeah, you get 291 gigs free, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and, I guess I should break the seal on that 360 game, because why not? Here it is. Oh, I got the classic seal on the side. Dude, these, this is super nostalgic. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's satisfying. Now open this bad boy up. Got a disc with not a single scratch or smudge. <laughs> it looks like I was getting stuck for a second, but nope, there we go. No, 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 no update, no update. Great, so I can't even, <laughs> I can't play this game without updating. I don't know what kind of update is gonna apply, but I would assume it's gonna hit me to the, the, the Metro dashboard. So let me go find an older game. So funny enough, let's try MW2. That's a little bit older. Yeah, there we go. That'll do it for us. This is so random, but I just found some plastic sticking out of this brand new controller. What, what is going on with these controllers with the, <laughs> the corrosion, this extra plastic console is working great. Here's on the MW2 on the MW3 console, but enough of Call of Duty. Let's go back to the home screen and kind of explore this thing a little bit and get a relive some past with this NXE Connect Metro dashboard hybrid thing. Got your play game there. You got your, you know, your avatar network settings game library, which will of course have nothing except, wait, Oh, I forgot, it comes with built-in games. Let's go. 
the Trials HD, the Risk Factions, the Peggle, Clack. All, it's on every console. That's, that's great to see. It doesn't really matter. Um, then, of course, Xbox Live. I wish I could see Xbox Live actually connected to the internet in this, this form factor right here. But, of course, if I connect to the internet, it's going to force me to update. I'll get the, the latest dashboard. So, nope. We're going to stick here with Game Marketplace, which shows some <laughs> YouTube. Well, yeah, you, you know this is old when you see Forza. Uh, Forza Motorsport 3. And, and Zune. Zune, Netflix, and ESPN, man. Whew. Avatar Marketplace. Oh, last FM. That's some good stuff. I wonder if I can even customize my avatar offline. I don't know. Let's try it. Dude, there's 20 pages of avatars I can choose from. Oh my goodness. I'll go with Slick right here. Here we go. Oh man, I forgot about all this. You can change your hairstyle, eyes and eyebrows, face, mouth, and chin. Dude, you can change Change your style, you can do everything here. Oh man, I, I miss this. You can put on a suit. Let's go with a blue suit with a, with some bling. Here we go. Oh yeah, the retro digital watch. Oh yeah, and then the, the fingerless gloves. Oh yeah, we're, we're looking swaggy now. Let me make this guy dizzy, there we go. Oh yeah. But let's go ahead and turn this console off because it's good to go and we've, we've made our slick avatar right here. But let's go ahead and move on to the untested consoles now and see what's in store for us. And we actually have another inbox Xbox 360 here and it appears to be number one, the first one we labeled when he this bought this entire Hampton Hall lot. And the funny part is this one has a high value security storage sticker thing on the bottom, I guess from somebody moving. I don't know, but let's open this box up and see what's inside of here. We've got hey, a pretty clean 360. It's actually even got the little, you know, foam storage pieces. Now taking that out, let's, oh, of course it fell apart. Just, just like the last 360. And inside of here we've got some pamphlets just stuffed into the side, which is, I guess, better than nothing. Looks about the same as that other 360 we just unboxed. We also have, oh, two controllers, hey. Ooh, that's kind of clutch. Wait, hold on. First of all, this is actually a pretty nice controller. Doesn't look like it's been used that much. The thumbsticks look really good. But there are batteries in here. Are they corroded? They are not. That's a good sign. Let's put those, <laughs> take those out before they do corrode. Now this controller here as well looks really good. Also has batteries and oh, those don't look good. Yeah, that, that controller is probably going to be trash. I don't usually mess with corroded stuff. You can fix corrosion on controllers, but I just don't mess with it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we got a couple power cables and a power brick in here and everything. So I don't know. Let's uh, go ahead and plug this thing in, see if it works. Actually, sorry, I didn't even look. <laughs> I forgot to even take a closer look at this console, but yeah, this thing looks really like in some really nice condition and flip into the back. Warranty seal is still intact and it appears to be a Trinity motherboard, I believe, what we all want to know. Nope, no hard drive. Hold on, I wonder if this serial number matches up. Oh, you know what? The serial number actually does match up between the box and the console, which is surprising. Hold on, wait, I swear that looks like a glossy console on the front here, but this is clearly not a glossy console, but the serial numbers match up, strange. It doesn't matter, let's plug it in and see what it does. All right, got this bad boy plugged in. Turn it on, check the di- <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. We got a DVD, we got Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part one. Can't be mad at a free DVD. Now let's see what's on this console. Of course the DVD tries to boot right up. Man, I cannot stand when these things auto boot. But now back to the home menu, we got fighting, it looks like it should be Irish. Oh, it is Irish, but it's a five and seven S, clever. Okay, fighting Irish 14 right here. Catherine, and let's see the last time Catherine played. 2015, Vancouver 2010, what, is that like an Olympic game? Why have I? Never heard of that. Okay. And then scrolling all the way back, it was first played in 2011, Sonic's UGC. I don't have no idea what that is. But let's go ahead and put a, let's put a real game in, <laughs> not a DVD. Make sure it works. Yeah, boot it up. That's good enough for me. Let's go back here, sign out, and see if we have any other profiles. We got two profiles. Player one, I, I can almost guarantee you player one has less than 100 gamer score. Oh, 250. Prove me wrong. Hey, congrats, player one. You played FIFA 14 in 2014. Nice. Now, let's go ahead and check these games right here. Any games downloaded, maybe? No. Nope. Just MW2, which is in the disk drive right now. Makes sense, because we've got a four gig hard drive here. But yeah, not too much going on with this console, uh, but it looks like immaculate almost, and it works. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. And guys, like always, all the consoles from this video, minus the very first brand new one, will be listed down below for sale on my website called jrobgaming.com. So go check it out, and let's move on to the next console. Now, next up, we'll shift gears a little bit and move on to a Hold on, this thing is super heavy. It's a, it's a PS3 Slim, but I picked this up and it, what in the world? Why does this feel so much heavier than, okay, I don't know. But uh, it looks pretty good. It's of course missing a couple rubber feet, warranty seal intact. Let's plug it in and see what's going on with this thing. All right, plugged in here, let's turn it on. Got life, we got no free game, but let's see if it boots up. Okay, okay, we're booted up. Let's see if we got any games. Nope, pretty barren. Let's check out, uh, we got Ashley, and that's it. Okay, Ashley, let's check out your system and see the last time you updated here. So we're on 4.85, it's a 160 gig system. 
So it looks like it was played, I don't want to say fairly recently, like four to eight, five is still from many years ago. Yeah, just nothing on here. All right, so it looks like Ashley did not play at all. But let's put a disc in, make sure it works. All right, Ashley, your PS3 is working. Your game is loading up. I, why did you donate your PS3? I, I will never understand. I guess if you're not using it, it's better to go off to me than just sit in your basement. But uh, yeah, this console right off the bat fully works. No save data or anything on it, but it, yeah, it works. It'll be listed down below for sale. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so next up we'll do PS3 Slim number 10. And this one definitely feels lighter. It is a different model, so that must be the difference. Uh, I don't know, different power supply or whatever. Warranty seal is gone, so this thing has probably been opened up. And dude, what is, what is going on with this like crater looking centerpiece here? I, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Let's plug it in and see if it works. Got power, no game. Let's see if it boots. Oh, we're booted up and we got this nice little teal background. No, oh, we got games. We got the Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies soundtrack installer. <laughs> Why is that a thing? Yes, yeah, so it's growing through here. There's a bunch of demos, but we also got Lego Batman 1, Lego Batman 2. We got a, a full Sudoku game. Where did it go? There it is. Yeah, Go Sudoku. <laughs> and of course, as you saw, Battlefield 4 and uh, this soundtrack installer, but yeah, it's pretty sweet. We got, uh, let's check out the users here. So we got Brian W, Riggs, Emma, and Gom Gomsky9. Okay, okay, let's check this out. Ooh, we got a message box. Oh, dang. I'm scrolling through. Can't, I have to go to bed at 8.30. Dude, why? Dude, you have, you're having a sleepover. That is a less legendary message as like definitely a 12 or 13 year old trying to have a sleepover with his friends. <laughs> what is this? Can, can you poly call faux duty black ops smiley face play? Oh, dude, this is legendary. Tuesday is my birthday, bring the noise. I'm gonna go remind Deadpool that my birthday is Tuesday. I heard an explosion update. Uh, Jurassic World movie for it sounds like this guy's planning his birthday to go watch a movie and <laughs> hey why don't you kick me oh man it's hilarious bad internet be right back shower <laughs> Dude, there's like a thousand messages here those are those only received let's check out the sent messages here wait hold on this guy barely sent any messages but he was receiving messages like crazy people wanted to play with this guy for some reason I, I don't know but let's uh let's check out the last time he played here black ops 2 in 2020 we also got lego batman 2 in 2020 and we got we got play history all the way back in 1999 this guy was playing uh, ps3 seven years before it came out that's hilarious no but really though he's got save data in 2008 which is before the slim came out so i guess he had an older ps3 but this guy has a long ps3 history that's i don't know that's pretty awesome <laughs> he has this random video on here some somebody explaining some playstation stuff i, I don't know what this is we also got the tester preview show V, I don't know what that is, a uh, zombie soundtrack. We got <laughs> some screenshots here. Oh man, that's funny. Let me check this out. Yeah, we're on 4.82 and a 160 gig again. But let's go ahead and check out these other profiles and see what's on them. All right, so Riggs hasn't played since 2013. Let me check out this message box and see if there's anything here. No messages. There are some received. Dude, everybody on this console was receiving messages like crazy, but never sent any. So actually, maybe here's a theory. What if the people on this console had mics, so they were talking to their friends, and then their friends were messaging them back via text because they didn't have a mic? I guess it could happen on the PS3. I actually didn't play online with the PS3 in this day and age, so I'm not sure how exactly that works. But this guy's got some, yeah, same stuff here. And yeah, not much going on. Let's check out Emma. So Emma didn't have much. Gomsky didn't have anything at all. Let's go ahead and put a game in, though, and make sure it works. All right, yep, game is working. So this console is good to go. It's amazing how many consoles people just throw out to goodwill that fully work. And I don't know, uh, I, again, like I said earlier, it's better than straight up just throwing them away, which I'm sure people do. But let's go ahead and inject this game. This console will be listed, listed down below for sale. Now let's move on to the next console. So next up, I have a couple of Wii's we'll test out. This one right here is pretty dirty and it's number 60. Flap is falling apart there and no SD card inside. Now this one is interesting because it has, uh, first of all, it's number 104, which we put on there, but it has a thing that says this Wii works. I, I did not put that on there. That's been there. And it's also got, wait, hold on. What is, what the heck? <laughs> it looks like, ew, 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 ew. So it looks like the rubber feet in the bottom melted while it was sitting on like a tissue or something. So it's all sticky on the bottom. What the heck? Interesting. Uh, let's plug it in and see if it works. We'll start with the Wii on the right side, which supposedly works. And no game inside, not surprising. I'm guessing if somebody tested it, they ejected whatever game was inside. But let's boot it up and see what it does. Oh, yes. We got games, we got Kirby's Adventure, and we got Super Mario Bros. 3. Jackpot, baby. Ooh, yeah. No secret channels. But let's go ahead and just start by putting a game in, make sure it works. So the game is clearly working, and we got some Miis here. Let's check out uh, Chuck You Up. <laughs> Dude, looks like he's, <laughs> hey, it looks like he's been through the ringer. Come on now, Chuck. There we go. Of course, it's always Matt. Is that, dude, the legend. Let's go ahead and check out the Me channel while we're at it. Yeah, we got a handful here. Let me find my boy Chuck down here. There he is. Chuck, you wait, made by Al. 
Walker's son, Hunter. This guy just <laughs> woke up from a nap. <laughs> Come on, Greg, wake up. We got Keevan. Dude is the shortest man on earth. <laughs> so, <laughs> guys, checking out the console nickname, it's Weed. That can mean a lot of things. I'll let you interpret for that. Uh, to be honest, these Weed nicknames are actually very creative whenever I click on them. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out when the last time this thing was played. Dang, January 2010. 13 years ago, we got a bunch of Wii Sports playing. And <laughs> we had 20 Wii Sports for 22 hours almost. Honestly, from how many messages are here, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually played that long. But in reality, probably just left their console on with the game on for almost the entire day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this console is good to go. It is working. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console right next to it and see if that works. All right, I got this one plugged in. Let's turn it on. And I hear a free game. And of course, the, dude, <laughs> what a combo. The flap falls off, Wii Sports comes out. Wii Sports is very scratched up, but in my experience, Wii Sports, dude, it, it could have a gash that bleeds through all the way to the front of the disc and it would still work. I, I don't know why, but that's just my experience with Wii Sports. But let's go ahead and boot this thing up and see if it works. So yeah, Wii Sports is loaded up there. Nothing else interesting channel-wise on this console, but let's go ahead and check out the Miis first and see what's up with them. Oh, okay, okay, I see you. We got a handful of Miis here. We got GJGG8M. My game, <laughs> it's like grandma. <laughs> oh man, they, they made him look like a nerd. So for the most part, these all look like normal people. But let's go back and check out the last time this thing was played. So I'm scrolling through and all of a sudden June 2013 has just a ton of, a ton of, not a ton, it's four, but uh, last played Wii Sports Resort, Madden NFL 9 for 20 minutes back in uh, June of 2013. Amazing. Now last but not least, we'll check out the console nickname and then we'll move on. Danny. Straight up. All right, I'll take it. But console is good to go. It'll be listed, both of these consoles actually will be listed down below for sale. So go check them out if you're interested. But let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now next up I have an Xbox One and honestly, I'll be surprised if this works because it, it's filthy and it's honestly just falling apart. Because looking at this front piece, like there's a giant panel gap right there. You can see this piece right here is crunched and it's just all, it's all just coming apart. I don't know, uh, let's plug it in and see what it does. Yeah, this thing is definitely not gonna work. I can hear a buzzing sound coming from it and it's not turning on. <sighs> Great. But honestly, I won't even bother with messing with this console today. I'll put it to the side and at the end of the Hampton Hall, like one of the last episodes, we'll go through and try to troubleshoot some of these broken consoles, see what happens. Yeah, that's uh, that's tragic. So next up, I have one of the Xbox 360 E consoles and it actually, uh, never mind, it looks really bad. I was gonna say it doesn't look too bad, but it's, no, it's pretty scratched up. Console number 107 and warranty seal is still intact. Let's see, do we have a hard drive? We do not. Oh well, let's plug it in and see what it does. All right, we got power, any free games? Yes, we got Just Dance 4, which is, I'm pretty sure this game is worth like $3. Again, better than nothing, but come on, you couldn't give me something a little better than Just Dance 4? All right, and I booted up, we got two profiles. We got Player 1, Zero Gamer Score, absolute classic. Then we got Va Vac Rush, or VA, VA Crush 5, 2100 Gamer Score. Not bad, let's uh, check it out. Hi, <laughs> classic. And the bio is Pro Gamer, <laughs> 1300 Fortnite BR, I don't even know what BR means, buddy. I guess he's a pro Fortnite gamer. Little League World Series played in 2020, Just Dance 4 in 2018, NBA 2K17 in 2018. This is such a random play history for somebody who is supposedly a Fortnite pro. What a bio, man, I've never seen anything like that. Uh, let's check out the games here. Anything downloaded, oh, God, Minecraft, it's just a trial though. Just Dance 4, which is of course, it's in the console. And yeah, let's just go ahead and boot up Just Dance 4 and see if it works. So the game is actually not booting up. It did start booting, the console is just frozen now strange though because this console i mean uh no never mind it's got a oh it's got a nasty ring around the outside of this disc so maybe that's it it's almost like somebody moved the console around while the disc was inside we'll try out the classic mw2 and see if that works yes mw2 read it up without an issue at all so i'm going to assume that's a bad disc and which like i said not surprising considering that giant ring was on there well i'm, I'm glad i checked because i was going to see if the parental controls were enabled and Indeed they are. Let's go see if we can fix that here. All right, well, unfortunately, it was not any of the obvious passcodes. Let's check out the oh, favorite food, dude. You gotta guess pizza. It's always pizza. Well, let's, let's see. <gasps> this is unreal. It was pizza. Are you kidding me? <laughs> dude, that is unreal because there was another console we had like a year ago that both Danny and I were going through and we were like, yeah, let's, let's put pizza in. And it was pizza as well. That is unreal. Whatever, we'll leave that off and then go back. But I'm so glad I checked there. But anyways, this console's good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up we have a 360 Slim, which has these really strange marks on the top. I don't know how that got there. Honestly, it probably got that from laying in that giant pile of Goodwill consoles and something was laying on it. I don't know, it doesn't matter. Let's see if we have a hard drive in here. Whoops, wrong side. And yes, we do, finally. We've got a 250 gig. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. All right, we got power. Do we have a free game? Nope. 
Dude, I'm seriously just waiting for the day when I get a free game that's worth like 100 plus dollars. I think the most valuable one I've gotten so far is Mario Kart, which is like, you know, 25, 30. Oh, dude, yes. Yes, we're not on Metro. Yes. Now this is like the, it's kind of like the console earlier. That's It's not quite NXC, but it's like the Kinect NXC hybrid thing. It's basically NXC, it looks just like it. Dude, legendary. My man. Good on you, Tom. You kept it here. Oh, he's a G. He's standing there like this, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm an NXC boy. Let's check this out. We got 250 gigs, as we saw earlier. And we got Tommy. Tom, my boy. He's got Connected Ventures, Connectimals, Dance Central. Dude, this is a, dude, this guy was a monster on the Connect. Looks like a cowboy as well. I just imagine him on the Connect, like, slinging around his, throwing his lasso at cattle and stuff. I, I don't know what I'm saying right now. But let's go ahead and put a game in and make sure it works. Why am I putting Wii Sports in the 360? Don't lose my mind, man. All right, here we go. This is the real 360 game. Game loaded up without an issue. Let's go back to the main menu and check out one more thing. And you guys know that one more thing is parental control is enabled. No, it's not. And actually, hold on. I haven't even checked. I've not even checked if there's any other profiles. So let me let me do that first. And nope. Yeah, we got two profiles title total. Tom and Julie. Honestly, sounds like a husband and wife. I, Tom and Julie sounds like a. That just sounds like a couple right there. Now, Julie. Oh yeah, we got the cowboy and the cowgirl. Nice, dude. This could this should have been in the Texas load. Why is this on the Hampton Hall? Like I don't, I don't got cowboys up there. Whatever. Cool. Once the console works, good to go. Let's eject the game. Move on to the next console. All right. So next up, we got a couple more Wii consoles. We have one that surprisingly has both flaps intact, no SD card. And then next up, we actually have one of the non GameCube compatible Wiis. And then hold on, looking at the front here, it looks like the disc drive is actually missing like a piece of the velvet or phone. What is what is that material right there that it slides through? I don't know, but it's missing a piece of it, so that looks strange. No SD card, and this thing is. Filthy, or just scratched up, I don't know. Let's plug in the white one first and see what it does. All right, turn it on, and no free game. But let's see if we got any free games downloaded. Mm. Oh, dude, we got, we got the Nintendo channel. I do not see that very often. We got that, nothing else special on here. But let's go ahead and put a game in, make sure it works. All right, game's good to go. Let me boot up this me channel, see if we got, see if we got some good me's. Ooh, yes, we got some special ones. All right, we got this, What? wait, wait, wait. What? Spit mess. What is, that looks like the uh, the dragon from How I Met Your Dragon. That that's what it looks like to me. We got Flea, <laughs> Flea, Becky. Uh, what is, dude, the eyes are at the top of the head. That's that's awesome. Afro Puff. Yeah, it looks like me in about 80 years. April 2010. Last played Wii Sports for an hour and a half, and that was it. But didn't leave Wii Sports for me. Come on, man. But this console's good to go. It is working. Be listed down below. Let's go ahead and move on to the Black Wii. Let's see what's in store. All right, let's turn this bad boy on. And, ooh, definitely got a free game inside. Okay, it came out. Dude, yes, Super Mario Galaxy, finally a new one. This one's got fingerprints all over it. Definitely used by like an eight-year-old that was eating Cheetos and put the game back in. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, make sure it works though. Uh, yeah, nothing else much on here, but the game is loading up. Good to see you. Let's check out the Mii channel and see what's up with it. All right, we got a handful of Mii's, not much though. Got Elijah, Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> console nickname is Dinky. Nice. There we go. Okay, here we are. January 27, 2017. We got dude, a bunch. This is like, this is definitely when this person booted up the Wii for the first time in a long time or connected to the internet for the first time in a long time and it gave you all those messages. Can they play Netflix for two minutes? Console is working. Good to go. And uh, yeah, it'll be listed down below for sale. And guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Again, Hampton Hall episodes are every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday throughout December. So check them all out. And guys, uh, thanks for watching.